Okay, hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. We're doing a closet clean out because I have this giant pile of clothes that I want to hang up that is from either stuff I bought for Black Friday, stuff I bought when I was home for Thanksgiving, or just stuff that's clean. And then what's in the closet right now, like literally my closet looks like a rack at Plato's closet because it's so freaking full. I really just need to go through stuff. And here's my plan. Anything I pull out that I cannot style goes in the big bin I just bought at Target. And yeah, that's pretty much it. One solution to this problem would be, instead of like going through everything, would be to use Nick's closet too, like his rack for my stuff. But I feel like that's just kind of mean. And... Oh, look at that baby. And I don't have enough hangers. So I could just buy more hangers, but I'm just gonna go through my stuff. It just seems more like none of this is responsible. I don't know what it is. I'm just going to go through my stuff. Also, what am I gonna do with the clothes in the bin? It's going in the attic with all the other clothes that I have. I have a lot of clothes. I just can't get rid of it. It's for my future daughter. Okay, there we go. It's for my future daughter. Okay, here's my first pile of clothes. Um, this is gonna take a long time. How do we do this? Let's just, let's just go through it, okay? We'll write this all the time. Um, this is gonna take forever. This one, Nick hates it. Most people hate it, but for some reason I really like it. Most people hate it. I don't care. Okay, I found a questionable one, so I'll put it over here. Rachel Green skirt, can't get rid of her. I'm not even getting rid, I'm just putting it in storage. This, I actually need to style this. I really do, because I love this. I've only worn it one time, I need to figure out how to wear it. So we're gonna put it over here. Okay, so the first pile, we only got two things, but also um, I took it from one side and I have like one side of my like most commonly worn stuff and then one side is my, well actually no, it's a line. When I was packing for this trip, I put all of my stuff I wear all the time on one side. So that's literally what I just said. Okay, I got the next pile. try this outfit on for you I love this outfit we're just gonna try it on for fun uh, I'm like already tired <laughs> I love this sweater I get mixed reviews on this one as well but fuck them this sweater <laughs> is a Gabby and Jordan classic, so it stays forever. This skirt, I don't think I've ever even worn it in public, but it's stained, okay. Okay, now we're getting into the nitty gritty because this is stuff I really, this is where it's gonna get challenging for me to style these things. Like, I've worn this once, it's really cute. It's really cute. But I feel like it's more summery, so... This is my problem. I couldn't wear tights with this, could I? Because then I would look like a legit cheerleader. We're gonna put the baby. this one no okay the pile's looking better now
going to keep this forever. Once a tater, always a tater. <laughs> it's just, you know, I have to keep it. out how I want to do this maybe I could just put on like black leggings and then try on everything yeah let's do that I'll just put on black leggings try on everything and then be like do I want to style it or is it like do I hate it <laughs> um is it too cold to wear it now and then it'll go on the bed anything that's left we'll try and make an outfit with it okay okay I'm my basics you cannot see my face Okay, so first thing we have up is, um, it's like a cropped little collar shirt, but when I bought it, I didn't realize that it was going to be like reverse seam, um, so I don't love it. I have worn it before, and it was alright. Um, washing it is a, a bitch because of all these loose strings on it, it get caught in the washing spinner, so it's pretty annoying, but okay. Okay, let's see it here. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is kind of like weird. Like, you can't really see the, the texture of it because of the lighting in here. The lighting's just too good. But the silhouette I like a lot. But it's the little strings. Like, look at this. Does it not look weird? So, I think this one's going to be put away. I just don't like the strings. Maybe I could cut all the strings off, but... I don't know. This one's going in the box. Okay, so I bought all three of these shirts for pretty much the same reason. Which was to wear, like, under... Um turtleneck and not turtlenecks sweater vests and stuff like that but they're all kind of weird in their own way so i'm gonna do them one at a time and try them all with all of my like sweater stuff that i wanted to wear um and then we'll just kind of see how it looks all right this one's up first i got it from shein it's like really cropped and look you can literally see what part is double layered and what's not um I feel like it's fine, but it's, I don't know, it's fine, I guess. I'm, I'm gonna put it in the box anyway because I can't wear this now. It's like, I don't know, I feel like it's more of like a spring look. Okay, why is it so small? For me to wear this in public, I need to wear something really high-waisted. Um, it's from PacSun. It's Bernie Melville. I don't know. Okay, this is the next shirt in the chopping block. It's from TJ Maxx. Um, one thing I don't like about it is why does it go so long in the back? It looks like a teacher's shirt because they always want to cover their butt. Here it is with the sweater vest that everybody loves. But, like, look how long it is. It doesn't seem right. Even if I were to, like, let's say I tucked it into my pants, my problem with it is the top, too. It's just not the right material for what I need. So, I don't know, maybe it is kind of cute. <laughs> no, it's not right, it's not right. I thought for a second I had found a good outfit, um, but no, it's the white shirt. It's the white shirt, hold on. So it's cute in the front, this with you know the green sweater with the white shirt hanging out and then these black pants with these shoes, which I don't love these shoes, but anyway, look. It looks like I have a diapie. <laughs> Hold on, let me try tucking it in, but I I don't think it's gonna look right. I really don't. 
tucked it in. See, it doesn't look weird because I have this wide hanging in the front and then I have nothing hanging in the back. Okay, we're gonna try a different white shirt. Okay, here's what the other white shirt that I have, the short sleeve looking one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this one. I liked the, whenever the shirt was kind of like hanging out because it like added something. <sighs> I'm struggling here, y'all. This is the only thing I could think of for this brown little shirt, which is way too cropped for work. So I'm like, okay, I can cover something up with it. I don't know if this looks good. I have a feeling it doesn't. It just looks like I tried to put it together and it didn't work. <laughs> so obviously I'm keeping this, but this is going in the bin. Yeah, it's going in the bin. We're gonna do a quick little speed round. This is for sure going in the bin. It's just so basic. Okay, ignore the black bra. This top is really cute, but I can't wear it during the winter, so it's going in the bin. I love it though, it's so freaking cute. Okay, this jacket I got from TJ Maxx, and I was on a hunt for like a yoga jacket, and this is this is one. But I don't like how long it is. And look, look at this. It just reminds me of like a soccer mom who's trying to be slutty but also be like modest. So she'll show some cleavage but then have it cover her butt. No. It's gotta go. Now I know my sister, Maddie, is gonna roast me for this shirt. This little black vest. But it reminds me of Peyton Sawyer from One Tree Hill. <laughs> like she would wear this, which is why I actually bought it. Do I think it's cute or, I don't know how I feel. It's, these are like fake buttons, aren't they? <gasps> They're real. Hold, hold on a second, let me see without the white shirt. Here it is without the white shirt under. I don't know what this is right here. <laughs> it's like bad stitching, I guess. It is from Shein. Um, I feel like I'm gonna keep it in my closet. I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna figure something out with this. I really like it. It's just, sorry. I think this shirt is so cute. This is adorable. But as long as I've had it, which has probably been, I don't know, a year, maybe less, I still haven't figured out how to style it. Um, it's really cute though. But it's more summery, so we'll check back in next summer. Sure, this sweater's frumpy, but it's like, it's like the perfect length on my butt. It's the perfect length in the front. I just couldn't wear anything like baggy under it, like no baggy pants, cause it'd be just looking homeless. But I feel like I should keep this one. Here's my thing with this vest. If it fit like this, it'd be a no brainer. I would wear it all the freaking time. It's really cute cause it's real leather, but it doesn't, it fits like this. If it's kind of wide. Hmm. So I'm like, okay, well I could just wear it as a vest and have it open, but what do I wear under it? As I turn the camera on, I realize what the problem is with this vest. I figured it out. Um, so I have I had it in storage for a long time. I pulled it out of storage because I was like, this is really cute. I can figure it out. Then I realized why it doesn't work. This, this type of sweater vibe is like grandma. It's literally grandma and that doesn't match anything that I own really, unless I already had a grandma sweater. So it's going in the bin. Okay, so I really like this shirt. I've had this top for a long time. It's so cute, but it's just not my vibe. I hate saying that word. That was really gross. But you get what I mean? It's just not who I am. Oh my God, this top is vibrant. Um, I can't explain how naked I feel in this because there, there's no boob support. I'm just like free floating in here. I'm gonna put it in the bin, but it's not gone forever. It's just gone for now. Uh, we're kind of losing light, ladies and gentlemen. Um, anyway, here is that black bodysuit. Um, look, that's my bra, that's it. Like the bottom of the shirt. Yeah, you can see it there. Um, look how low it goes. Okay, this is the plain red shirt. I really like the material. It's hard to explain. It's like really soft. It's like the soft and sexy 
American Eagle shirts, except it's not American Eagle. But in what scenario do I need a plain red shirt like this? I had to completely change the lighting in here because it was getting dark out. Um, so now we have this little light and that light and the lamp and just every light's on in the house. Okay, so this top is, it's like um, velvet material, but it's a tank top. So it's like, okay, what season is it supposed to be? I really need to air my grievances about this shirt because, okay, from like the here up, I love it. It's exactly like it was supposed to be, but no, it stops here. And it's from Shein, so it's kind of like whatever, but I thought it was going to be like a full length type shirt. And then I would wear it all the time because it's so 90s and so cute. It reminded me of Peyton from One Tree Hill. I don't know how to make this shirt work. It's, I love it. It's so cute. I don't want to put it in the bin just yet. I really don't. Do you guys like that we've switched to complete handheld mode at this point? I've had this crop blazer for a while. I got it from Forb 21. Um, it's really cute. I just haven't figured out how to wear it. Because I don't want to be too, like, boss bitch when I'm not the boss bitch. I'm just a boss. And I'm a bitch. I just need to, like, look at Pinterest and look up, like, crop blazer outfits or something. I don't know. Because you'd think mesh would be good for layering, but as soon as you put black mesh under anything, you instantly look so emo. This might be good for, like, going out. This shirt. So, okay. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. We have been doing this for so long. It's probably been an hour and a half. I don't I don't actually know how long it's been. But the bin is looking full. The last thing in the pile section is just pants and skirts. So we're going to do a speed round. Okay, this skirt. It, okay. <laughs> Clearly when I did that big she in order, my biggest inspiration was Peyton Sawyer from One Tree Hill. This is so cute. I love it. This little mini skirt. So I think this is going to go in the bin, but I do love it. Mark my words. I love this skirt. Okay. I have this mini length, kind of like witchy skirt. And I do like it and I want to style it, but I feel like um, I need to wear sandals with it. So we'll put this in the bin, but I do love it. There's no pockets in these pants. I got these from a thrift store and they were definitely handmade. They're not flattering though and the color is really uggo. Guys, we did it. We went through the pile and look at all these hangers. All of these hangers. I think, I'm not sure if we have enough necessarily, but we're getting closer. So I'm pretty happy. I do have two more things I wanted to try on for you guys. It's the outfit I was talking about at the beginning. And then it's just another top combination we'll see about. So give me one second. Okay, is this outfit not like really chic? Oh, the pockets are off. Look, that's all. One second. That's embarrassing. Wow, these pants are fitting me really well. But anyway, is it like Beth from Yellowstone chic? If I wore some heels? I really like this outfit. Okay, this one, I'm not sure. I think they're two different aesthetics coming together and it doesn't work. Double clips pants just mean like the vest and this top. Um, the top was inspired by my girl Peyton. I guess that's where I'm gonna end today's video. We, we did it. We freaking did it. Now I gotta just put all this stuff away and hang up all the clothes that are just sitting on the crate. So, thank you guys for watching today's Vlogmas. It wasn't a vlog, but it's a video. Okay, I love you guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.